17 things you should never say to a woman in the intricate dance of relationships whether romantic professional or casual words matter a careless statement can lead to misunderstandings hurt feelings or worse long-lasting damage to a relationship when it comes to communicating with women there are certain phrases that should be avoided at all costs while it's essential to communicate openly it's equally important to understand the power of words. Here's a list of 17 things you should never say to a woman and why avoiding these will help keep your interactions healthy and respectful. 1. You're overreacting. This phrase can feel incredibly dismissive. Everyone experiences emotions differently and telling a woman she's overreacting invalidates her feelings. Instead, Try to understand why she feels the way she does, rather than brushing it off as an overreaction. 2. Calm down. This is often said in moments of frustration, but it almost never has the intended effect. Telling someone to calm down usually makes them feel even more upset. It can be patronizing, as it suggests that the woman is not in control of her emotions. 3. You look tired. Though it may seem like you're expressing concern, this comment can be interpreted as saying she doesn't look her best. Instead of pointing out someone's appearance negatively, offer help if she's truly going through a tough time or simply keep it to yourself. 4. Is it that time of the month? This is one of the most stereotypical and offensive comments. It reduces a woman's feelings to mere biology, which is both sexist and dismissive. Emotions aren't just about hormones, they are about experiences and situations. 5. You've gained weight. Commenting on anyone's weight is always a bad idea, but especially with women. A woman's appearance should never be a source of judgment or critique. Compliment her qualities, not her body shape. 6. Why are you still single? This question can be hurtful and imply that there's something wrong with her. A woman's relationship status is not an indicator of her worth. Instead, focus on appreciating her independence and achievements. 7. You're being dramatic. Telling a woman she's being dramatic undermines the seriousness of her feelings. What may seem insignificant to you could be very important to her. Empathy goes a long way in communication, so rather than labeling her feelings, listen to what she has to say. 8. My ex used to. Comparing a woman to your ex is one of the fastest ways to create insecurity. Every woman is unique and deserves to be valued for who she is, not compared to someone from your past. Focus on building a relationship with her without bringing up old relationships. 9. You're so different from other girls. Although this may seem like a compliment, it carries an underlying message that there's something wrong with other women. It can create unnecessary competition and imply that you have a negative view of women in general. Compliment her for who she is, not by putting others down. 10. You're just like your mother. Family relationships are complex, and comparing a woman to her mother can be tricky especially if there are unresolved issues there. This comment can come across as an insult, even if you didn't mean it that way. 11. You wouldn't understand. Never assume that a woman won't understand something based on her gender. This statement is condescending and dismissive of her intelligence. Give her the opportunity to engage in the conversation, and don't make assumptions about her knowledge or capabilities. 12. You're too sensitive. Sensitivity is not a flaw, and telling a woman she's too sensitive makes it seem like she's in the wrong for feeling deeply. Emotions are valid, and it's important to create space for them. Instead of criticizing her sensitivity, acknowledge her feelings. 13. You should smile more. Commenting on a woman's appearance, especially something as personal as her expression, is invasive. Women don't exist to please others, and suggesting she should smile more is controlling. Let her choose how she expresses herself without pressure. 14. You'd be prettier if. 
No woman needs to hear that she could improve her appearance. Whether it's about makeup, clothes, or hairstyle, such a comment is deeply hurtful. Beauty is subjective, and each woman should be celebrated for her individuality, not shaped by someone else's standards. 15. You're acting crazy. This statement, like calling someone dramatic or sensitive, belittles her emotions. It's important to understand that words like crazy can feel like an attack, especially when used in moments of vulnerability. Instead, try asking, what's wrong? Or how can I help? 16. When are you going to have kids? Asking a woman about her plans to have children can be incredibly invasive. Whether she wants kids or not, this is a deeply personal choice. For some women, it may also be a sensitive topic if they are struggling with infertility or simply choosing not to have children. 17. You're lucky you're pretty. This statement reduces a woman's value to her appearance, implying that her looks are her only asset. Women are more than their physical features, and comments like this trivialize their intelligence, abilities, and personality. Compliment her for her accomplishments, kindness, or talents instead. Conclusion. Communication is key. Understanding what not to say to a woman is just as important as knowing how to communicate effectively. By avoiding these 17 phrases, you're fostering an environment of respect, empathy, and mutual understanding. It's crucial to remember that words carry weight, and once spoken, they can't be taken back. The next time you find yourself in a conversation, take a moment to think before you speak. Choose your words carefully, and always aim to uplift and support the women in your life. Respectful communication lays the foundation for healthy relationships, and by avoiding these harmful phrases, you're taking a step toward better, more meaningful connections. This list isn't exhaustive, but it covers many common missteps in communication. Being mindful of your words and approaching every conversation with respect will help you build stronger and more positive interactions. Remember, it's not about censoring yourself. It's about being considerate and thoughtful in your approach to others. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.